I'm not saying that women can't have a good job. I'm not saying that women can't be successful. You should grow up to be a responsible adult who can sustain and support yourself. It's not in and of itself masculine per se. The problem that women have is that they tend to evaluate themselves based on standards that have traditionally been applied to men. This is Caesar Walker, the cool, calm, collected one. And I'm Ronnie Gatry, the emotional one. And we are the Tipping Point Podcast, your source for the black male's perspective. Podcast. When we talk about women with masculine energy, I shared this with a with with someone on IG. I'm not saying that women can't have a good job. I'm not saying that women can't be women can't be successful, right? You should grow up to be a responsible adult who can sustain and support yourself, right? That's not in and of itself. It's not in and of itself masculine per se. I think what has to be explained is that I shared with you a video um, of a guy's name is Alan Obi. I don't know if black you've seen his stuff on online, but it is his YouTube page is called we need to talk. And he basically explains it as the, the, the problem that women have is that they tend to evaluate themselves based on standards that have traditionally been applied to men. Or as he calls it, they evaluate themselves on a male curriculum. So what you have is, for example, a woman is seeing two guys. All things being equal, they're both physically attractive males guys and they're cool good personality but one guy makes fifty thousand dollars a year the other guy makes two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year now they're both attractive both cool the difference is what they make what guy has a better shot shot at this woman 250k easy right that's you don't you don't there's no no struggling with that you flip that and it's a guy talking to two women and one makes 50 K and the other one makes two fifty K. An argument could be made. The woman who makes 50 K has just as much of a shot at getting with that guy as a woman who makes two fifty K. The reason being is because generally speaking, generally speaking, men don't evaluate what a woman makes the way women evaluate what a man makes. Right. We're not looking for the same things. And so what happens is, is women will look at themselves as they're educated. They have a master's degree, MBA, doctorate, um, successful. I have a good paying job. These are things that a lot of women tend to lead with. I have my own business. I'm independent. I'm this and that. But those are things that you look for in a man. And you have adopted those standards for yourself, thinking that's what men are looking for. So in that video clip, when I said you've become a great guy, what I'm saying is you have adopted the same standards that would attract you to a man thinking that's what we're looking for. So when I talk about the masculine software, the woman who makes 250K, usually if that woman is on on the law firm, she's trying to make partner, she has to become very assertive ambitious. She has to become very, very firm, not easily, not agreeable. These are great attributes for making partner. Not so much in a relationship with another man. And so the issue is you've developed a completely different skill set to go out and interact with this world, but that skill set doesn't translate over into a relationship. It's kind of like basketball. If I go to basketball camp, I learn how to dribble with both hands. I learn how to shoot a jumper. I learn how to play defense. I learn how to rebound. I learn these skills, but then you take the same athlete and put them on the football field. No one's asking you to dribble between your legs and cross someone up. No one's asking you to go down the lane and dunk on anyone. No one's asking you to box out a defender to crash the boards. Completely different skill sets required. And in a relationship, generally speaking, most men aren't asking women to be assertive, ambitious. They're not asking for these skills that you've acquired over here. 
So when we're talking about masculine software, I'm talking about skills that you've brought into a relationship that generally speaking, men aren't asking you to do. And no one's really breaking it down to that level for women to understand. Okay. So, so I, I'm, I'm reminded of us getting to this point in that conversation. Okay. I, we, I, had, I had to give a backup yeah. story to get to this point. This is why, this is why I need you to bring these, these stories. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> um, I had a thought. Okay. Cause we, again, the comments on that just out of this world. Yeah. But to that woman who says, okay, you got a valid point. What do I do in the meantime? Until Mr. Wright shows up. Do I not try to make partner in my law firm? It's just me. Mm -hmm. Do I not go try to start my own business? Yeah. Yeah. And again, I'm not saying don't do that, but um, for, but because of what feminism has done for women, now you have to become a two sport athlete. You can't just, the flex really isn't that you're good at one sport when you know good and well, you want to play football too. So you have to find out what are the skills required to flourish over in this dating game? And you got to step outside of your echo chamber of women who are telling you what men like. Which is why what led into our conversation, you asked me about, I'm supposed to teach. How else is she supposed to find out? She exists in an echo chamber. 